Need a better way to enjoy the finer things in life? Like, you know, hydration? Attach this new U-shaped water bottle cage to your pre-drilled bike. It takes various sizes, and we send you two of these ultra-flexible bike boulder holders. Get it from U-shake today. Hi there. Today we're going to show you how to install a Pro Bike Tool bottle cage. To install the cage, you need to use the holes that came pre-drilled into your frame. If your bike frame didn't have any holes in it when you purchased it, please do not drill any holes in yourself as this may damage the integrity of the frame. The bottle cage comes supplied with bolts which you can use to install the cage. Alternatively, the frame will probably have had bolts supplied with it itself and these are also good to use. Firstly, unscrew the bolts from the frame. Once you've unscrewed your bolts, you line up the cage onto your frame so that the holes in the cage line up with the holes in your frame. Then, ensuring that you've got the washer on the outside of the bottle cage, you simply screw in the bolt like so. It's easiest to do this just with your hands at first and we'll tighten them up a bit later. We've got one bolt in now, just very loosely. Now going to put in the second one, again with the washer on the outside of the cage. Once you've got the bolts finger tight, you can finish off tightening them up with a hex tool of some sort. Here we're going to use a Pro Bite Tool Mini Ratchet tool set. No need to over tighten them however, as this may make it difficult to remove them. Make sure that both bolts are nice and tight and that the cage is secure. Once you've done that and you're happy that the cage is secure, you're ready to ride. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to install your Cycling Specifics side-mounted carbon bottle cage. So this actually, uh, these bolts right here are a size three millimeter Allen. Uh, yours may be different, so make sure you get this correct size wrench, but a lot of water bottle size uh, bolts uh, use a three millimeter Allen. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. And go ahead and put, I always like to put the top bolt on first. So go ahead and put that in the top slot. And you don't want to do that all the way tight. Make sure that it's just somewhat, you know, just holding it there. And then go ahead and install the bottom one. Okay. And you actually have, uh, this cage makes it so you can actually adjust it up and down almost half an inch. So go ahead and put that in. Make sure that those are freely, and so you can actually slide it up and down, put it where you want it. I typically, for smaller frames, you're gonna to wanna to make, make it closer to the bottom so that you can actually have a little bit more room to put it in and out. And then, you know, just by preference, some, some people like to have it up a little bit closer to the top if they have a taller frame for easier access to their bottle. Okay, and then you're just going to go ahead and tighten those down, make them snug. All right, so now that cage is all in place. I'm going to show you how awesome this cage is. So for your, for your traditional bottle cage, you actually have to enter them from the top, you know, and that's how you get the, the fit. Whereas the way that this is designed, it actually, the carbon flexes, which is really nice because it actually holds your bottle really securely. Uh, you need to make sure that you use a premium water bottle, like a Camelback is a great bottle, also a Specialized Purist, or something of a similar dimension. By using those bottles, you'll be able to get the optimal uh, utility out of this cage. So even without looking, you can actually enter it in from the side, push it all the way down, and you can see how secure that is. It's not going to rattle at all. It's totally secure. Uh, fantastic product. Uh, we've had awesome reviews on this product. 
when people use the correct bottle. And uh, yeah, we're excited to hear from you and see what you think.